So this is a really exciting day. As you can hear, there's lots of people doing art. I'm Morag Myerskov, I'm a designer and artist. And at the moment, I'm at the opening of the Art Block. I'm very pleased to welcome you to this celebration of the opening of Art Block. Art Block is part of Open Plan, which is a bigger programme played out across three estates, local to South London Gallery, with the aim of bringing artists into the everyday life of residents, but also with the aim of involving residents more in the life of the South London Gallery. It's a new art block where the kids can come and just do art, make things and just enjoy themselves. They had had a space that they had made their own and it was an amazing identity, little small space. And then they were given this wonderful new space. It was a white walled new building that it didn't belong to them. So the whole part of my brief was to come and make a space that they belong to. So the way I approached that was to get them to make the art. So I did workshops with them, pattern workshops, word workshops and various things. And then out of it, I took their work and then I transformed it into the space that you can see now. My name is Kudada and I'm nine years old. At one of the workshops, I did a little bit of art and we had to design our own kind of like picture. So there was kind of shapes and we had to make our own picture out of it. The thing that I like about the new place is that the new place is big because the old space was too small for me to dance, but now the big space is better for me to do that. And there's lots of different colours on the walls. My um, project is named The Club Under My House and we got that from one of the workshops with the young people where we had a poet that came in and he worked with them. What, what, what is this, this, this place? Maybe it'll be the arts, the, the art club. A club, okay. Do you want to write that down? A club under your house. I like that. If you had a club under your house, what would that club be? What would go on there? What would you like people to feel like when they see the art? Happy. Okay, I think that's really nice. In one of the workshops, Brahim, he designed some letters, he wrote a word, and I thought they looked really amazing, so I then made an, an alphabet out of them. I developed his font, not really very much, just to make it into a full alphabet, and then translated and painted it. We also made curtains from his work, and the heart on the wall is his as well. Murag has collaborated with the children to bring this about. It's beautiful because it is a relationship between the artist and the community. Those who live in this area have then been able to be involved in the creative process of putting this building together. My responsibility is to tell them that they are creative, they can create, they can go on to do this in the future as a life option. So that's the main thing for me, just to imbue some kind of influence and a positive influence in the community. My name is called Ravi. The thing I like about the new space is that I can build like bigger stuff. I like the walls because it's colourful. We divided the space into various areas. There's this main central space, which is really the play space. We've made this furniture that I brought the ceiling down so the kids didn't feel like they were in this voluminous big space and there's a storeroom that they can go and choose the materials, it's all out on display. And then they've got their own gallery at the back as well. If they ever want to go and do design or art, it won't be very different from a space like this. The club under my house, that's what this is and that's the thing, isn't it? It's their club and it's literally under their houses.